All right, so I'm going to walk you through a brief AMZ Scout demo using a couple of my favorite tools that they have to kind of show you beginning research of having an idea in mind for a bundle and then taking it all the way through to finding the right items for the bundle and finding the suppliers that you need for that bundle, including whether or not this is in demand. So the first tool that we're going to use in AMZ Scout here is the keyword research tool. Now for this particular demonstration, I'm going to, my mom's birthday is coming up and Mother's Day is just right around the corner. And so I am looking for a specific mother Day gift for my mom. And so we're going to use that as a birthday gift, Mother's Day gift kind of thing. We're going to use that as the example here. So the first thing that I do when I go into AMZ Scout is to decide the supply and demand or the keyword research volume of the particular word that I'm using here. And so this is just going to be, you want to keep the first search really broad so that you can see all of the different keywords. So right now I'm just going to type in mom. I'm not going to type in any other filters in here for now because I really want to see kind of all the keywords that are com coming up with the word mom. And so when we look at this, it's going to, you can use the little um, arrows here to sort sort by ascending or descending. This is descending, obviously, and it goes down. So it gives you the highest level of search volume first. And this is search volume per month. How many people are typing these words and or phrases into Amazon? So here I see gifts for mom already as like the second level of search volume. And then you go scroll on down to see gifts for mom, just regular mom with people are putting in there, a lot of t-shirts. And this is just to get an initial gauge as does anybody care about any of these things? And if so, what do they care about? So this is showing you what they care about, specifically birthday gifts for mom, funny mom shirt, nurse shirt, luckiest mom ever, Valentine's Day, new mom gifts, um, all these different, these different particular, so, so mom birthday gifts even is showing up right here. So these are showing me that my indicator for search volume, I like to see it above 2000 per month. I feel like it kind of depends on supply and demand, but one of my favorite things is to see above 2000 so that you kind of know that there's enough people looking for mom or gifts for mom that, that you think, okay, I can do some further research. If you see these numbers really low, like for example, if they're all looking like less than 200 here, then that's something that maybe I would steer clear from. And if you see a lot of these less than 200, it's because this is for this exact phrase. And so less than 200 searches a month for something really, really long like this makes sense. So make sure that you're always sorting by the highest volume first, just so you can get a good gauge of whether or not this is a good keyword to start exploring. If there's not a lot of search volume, then you definitely don't want to keep exploring. So as I see give Gifts for mom is, is over 16,000 a month. I'm thinking that's a pretty good niche. I'm going to go to Amazon and see what's out there as far as competition because I'd like to bring some gifts for mom products to the table. So I'll go over to Amazon and I type in gifts for mom here. And then I'm going to do a search and I'm also going to use the AMZ Scout Pro extension. So we've already seen that it has good search volume using the keyword research or keyword search volume here. So now we're going to go and we're going to use the pro extension. It's really easy to add. It comes with um, your Amazon's, it comes with your AMZ Scout package that you're going to get. And when you, with that, you click the little button in the corner and it's going to bring up the extension and the extension is going to run and it's going to give you all of these amazing results. It gives you some things at a glance right up here on this little dashboard. And that's the best thing to look first and foremost, because you're going to see how many results are coming up on this page, the average monthly rank and price and all of the things there. And this particular thing here is a niche score. And the niche score is going to show you you. Does this niche have wiggle room to bring new products to the table? Now that's where bundling gets different and better because even if this niche score is a little less than you expect, which seven is great, um, and here's the explanations of why, but even if it's a little lower than expected, remember as a bundler, you're bringing something new and different to the table, and we'll look at that in just a minute. So overall niche score, you want to be able, I mean, I'm comfortable with as low as uh, four 
or five because it just really depends on supply and demand. But this is a good at a glance to give you an idea of whether or not you should even dip your toe in the water when this particular niche. So this has there's some high profit here. There's great demand. So there's a lot of keywords and a lot of demand for products in this niche. And then they say that the competition is medium. The good thing about competition, as we've already learned, is that we know as wholesale bundlers how to get um, our buy box owned 100% of the time where we're not worried so much about competition because we're going to bring new bundles to the table. So we're not competing with single unit products. So if you see this as medium or high, we don't have to worry about that just yet. So we know that this is a pretty good niche score. You've got a seven here. So there's a lot of good things going for gifts for mom. So let's take a look at what's actually out there. And then what we do to see what's actually out there is we look at this extension here and we see all of these top 10 products here. And you're going to see a product score for private label and product score for reselling. Again, for these scores, these are only things to pay attention to if you wanted to sell the single unit item that's listed there. So oftentimes it'll say zero if it's a private label or a gated brand. Um, and the private label score here is really if you could recreate this yourself in your own um, particular thing. So this is where you can look at these different items and you can say, oh, wow, there's a lot of things for sale. Um, you can have the little drop down here when you click the arrow. It's a drop down and it can show you this particular gift, the profit calculator, how much money you'd be making, say, if your cost of goods were $5. You could put that in there and it could give you the estimated profit of what you're going to make there down here. So it's really kind of a cool thing to see um, if you, if you knew you could get this particular item for that amount of money, it can kind of give you an estimate of what you're going to make on that. So that's also something that you can do. So looking at these products here, after you look at, you can look at profit calculator history, you can get the keywords, find it on Alibaba or Google, or even copy the ASIN and do some more of the things here. So this is pulling up everything that's on the first page here. And then when you click, you can also open it to a new listing and it will open it here. So this is one of the best selling ones right here. Obviously it says Amazon's choice, and this is one of the best things for gifts for mom. So as a bundler, number one, you can look at this and say, okay, where can I find that? And that's where your results are going to be right here as this Christmas mug here is like, okay, maybe I want to sell that Christmas Mother's Day gifts. This is a mother-in-law mug. Um, so you can run your AMZ Scout um, browser here and then you can find where they sell that. So you can click on Alibaba. If you want to get it from there, you can find it on Google and it just opens a new tab and it lets you know these are different images that you can maybe get from some of these items, whether it's um, there, there's our mug right there that we're looking for on Amazon. It kind of shows you different images, pictures. You can also put um, in your Google search, uh, manufacturer, distributor, wholesaler, if you want, or you can go back to here and you can click on find it on Alibaba. If you're just ready to press go and want to order this particular item, you can find it on Alibaba and there's a direct link to those who produce these types of mugs and much, much more to do that. But as a bundler, we want to look also not only at the extension, but also what is available with these products. So when you're looking for bundle opportunities, as we have looked before, just selling a single unit mug could also be um, profitable if the data says that it is. But as bundlers, we want to look for the opportunity to serve the customer with a bundled product. So gift set, for example, here. So you scroll down a little bit and you can see the section where it says buy it with this or frequently bought together or customers who shopped for this also shop for that. Amazon has put this in a different places in different niches. But as you can see, a lot a lot of people are looking at buying it with a mug plus a keychain plus maybe a little sign so it's more of a set instead of that but these are separate individual items so what this gives you a clue to is what people are also buying with this item and about the total price so that's another indicator where you can look at different mugs and you can look at different whatever you're researching and you can find the different items that you could put together in a nice gift set so if we wanted to take that further we can look at a couple of our listings and see what else people are buying. So here's another mother-in-law mug. And we can scroll down to that same section 
and try to find what else people are buying with these particular items. So you've got a sister-in-law gift here, another mother-in-law mug that they're buying a couple of. This one looks like a tea set. And so you can go on down the line to see what would be the best possible thing to bundle with this item. What are other customers buying alongside of it? And that's what Amazon is showing us right here is buy it with this. These are a lot of uh, items that people have frequently bought together or items that Amazon's algorithm believes goes well together. So keeping all of the other bundle rules in mind, you can also look at what the other people are buying there. And maybe it's a t-shirt set with a mug and maybe a gift box and, you know, some tea or whatever goes with it. So that's kind of how you use some of these tools to be able to find, you know, find the right keywords first to say, does anybody care about these items? And that's where you use the keyword search tool. And they say, yes, people care about this. So then we go to to, well, what do they care about? And that's where we go to Amazon and we type in our gifts for mom and we see, we press that little button in the corner over here that gives us then this wonderful pop-up from the extension. And then you can start scrolling down and doing some of your research directly from here. You can also see all of these amazing data points. This is one of the things I love most about Amazon um, AMZ Scout Pro is this extension here gives you the percentage. These are estimates, of course, but they're really close estimates of why um, the sales ranks of these items, whether or not they believe that it's a private label product, which you know you probably can't sell private label products because it's somebody else's brand. Uh, and so it gives you all of the data at in an instant so that you can kind of make really informed decisions very, very quickly. It's a great tool and asset to have when you're doing research because it makes the yeses and nos really easy to decipher. And then of course, once you pick out one or two products that you think would be great that you could access there, then you're going over to do your research on Amazon to see what other items people are buying with these types of things here. And you'll be able to see um, maybe with it, whether it's a shirt or another mug or another something, what makes the most sense and serves your customer the best when it comes to products. So again, here's another sign that you see that a lot of people are, are buying together with mugs. So maybe you're not giving your mother-in-law just one mug, but you're giving her a sign or um, some home decor or maybe a keychain or maybe a blanket. You see a lot of these other products here that um, also are considered uh, gifts for mom and you can use your uh, research process, step-by-step -step research process to determine what components in your bundle are going to make the most sense. But this makes the research so much faster and so much easier when you're using tools like this to help you with that. And then once you get a couple of ASINs, so here's this sign here that you might want to use um, in part of your bundle. Again, you can do the same exact thing with the extension and use this product to find where they're selling this product. Who's making this product right here? How can you find the supplier? How, you can Google it. You can can um, use it and uh, find it on Google. You can find it on Alibaba. You can copy the ASIN. And when you copy the ASIN, you can take that back to the, the um, tools here. And you can also ASIN look, do a reverse ASIN lookup and find all of the relevant keywords to then find the keywords for that particular um, product and start looking at what other people are, are searching for, what might be involved in that listing and give gather even more keywords. So gift cards, uh, gifts for mom, best selling. These are all keywords that you would wanna use within your listing to build your bundle. So that's just a brief overview of how I use AMZ Scout to build wholesale bundles and to, uh, make my research a little bit faster so that I can make faster decisions and faster decisions help you make better product decisions, which then help you to make more money. So stay tuned for more videos with uh, demonstrations of AMZ Scout because I really love this tool and all the things that they have. And if you want to learn more about AMZ Scout, make sure that you go to mommyincome.com forward slash AMZ Scout to watch more videos and learn more about AMZ Scout.